All right, we're going to get started with our post-race media availabilities for today's Hellman's 500. We are joined by Austin Dillon, the driver of the number three American Ethanol Chevrolet. Um, Austin, ninth place finish here, but unfortunately the tiebreaker and the chase standings didn't quite work your way. Uh, talk a little bit about that and your first chase experience. Yeah, you know, it's uh, heartbreaking, obviously. Um, you need a spot, and it comes down to three one-thousandths, I think, between the 43 cars. So <clears throat> I'm just proud of this team. We made it a full another round, and thought we were going to make it another one, and it didn't work out for us. But um, thank to our partners, Dow, American S, and all everybody. We just, I don't think we, we had it today to really mix it up up front. We might have waited a little too long. We tried to get track position one time, but it didn't work out. So um, I put my car in the places I thought it would work the best there that last lap and a half, and my teammates stuck with me, so I'm proud and thankful for them. It just missed it by spot. All right, we'll open up to questions here for Austin. Raise your hand, we'll get a wireless mic. We'll start with Jenna. Jenna Fire AP. Austin, what was the what was the intent on the final lap, final laps? Was it just to get as many positions? Were you watching Denny? Did that yeah. matter? No, I, I just tried to get as many spots as I could. I um, pulled out at the line and gained a few, but oh, man, it just uh, perfect storm kind of. It was working out really good in the Miller race when 78 two kind of fell out, and then. Um, uh, you know, we made it to where we needed to with just a green-white checkered, and we're up there in the pack, and teammates behind us, and it uh, we weren't able to pull it off, but um, it was close, and I got to thank the teammates that helped me out, though. Any additional questions for Austin? We'll go to the back. Austin, Stan Creek, one with outside the box. Does this make you even more determined over the final four races to get the best possible? Finish as you can to finish the highest you've ever done in the in the points. Oh yeah, you know we we want to finish. Uh, I think the highest we can finish is ninth, and we're probably sitting there right now. So um, four tracks left, and uh, just want to finish in the top ten in points. Obviously, that would be uh, very great. And, um, if we can do that, that'd be uh, successful. But it sure stinks to miss it by a tiebreaker going on to the next group of, of cars. So, um, but I'm thankful for the opportunity that I've been given, and uh, we'll keep working. Go to Kenny Bruce. Kenny Bruce with NASCAR.com. Austin, you mentioned teammates working with you. How, how much help were they? I mean, was was it a situation where without them you wouldn't have been in the shape you were in? Or they did they a good helped? job. Um, you know, top restarts were worth a few positions and I had to restart on the bottom and I was going to try and wedge my way up. And I did it, but. Um, I got put three wide and uh, took a few laps, and the 31 dove in behind me. 31 helped a ton today. Um, you know, he he was glued to my back bumper those last couple laps. That was really nice, and uh, it was um, interesting race for sure, to say the least. Do we have any final questions for Austin? All right, Austin. Thanks for joining us this afternoon. Good luck with the rest of the season. Thank you.